hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall again in this video we are going to talk about tcp dump and fw monitor in this video i am going to help you with the easy tips and tricks how you can use tcp dump and fw monitor so easily so that you can do any sort of troubleshooting in the checkpoint firewall world it's all about the syntax and the analysis what we have on this two different tools tcp dump and fw monitor people says tcp dump is all about the layer two uh, sort of things i mean layer two details if you want to verify you can do it from the tcp dump and fw monitor is more of your layer three all you can see uh, layer three and about traffic it's somehow not correct because TCP dump you can see the IP addresses, uh, you can see the MAC addresses, you can see the port details and everything. In FW monitor also you can see all those details. Only difference is, is that in checkpoint world when you use the FW monitor, FW monitor gives you more details in terms of their interception or inspection points. We all know checkpoint has I, uh, big I small o and big o these are the intersection point or interception point what they have when we use this uh, tool fw monitor we generally see this thing so uh, in output you will see uh, small i then you will see big i you will see small o these things are not visible into tcp term that's the only difference and now let's run few important commands using the TCP dump and FW monitor to understand the difference. So let me just walk you through the environment of what I have right now. So right now we have a Windows MOOC server, an IPS attacker and two gateways which are in cluster mode. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to run some IPS attacks towards the gateway and same output will be observed from the tcp dump and fw monitor so let me give the host name 192.168.1.101 give me the username and the password and i hope you are able to see my screen so this tcp dump and fw monitor commands going to be run on expert mode so I think I can uh, you can see on a screen FW monitor is able to run from the standard mode but you can't run TCP dump from the standard mode and if I do the same thing uh, let me just clear up the screen let me go to the expert mode and from here I can see the TCP dump going to be run all right so these two commands are going to be run but with respect to their different mode so number one thing tcp dump only able to run from the expert mode and fw monitor going to be run only but also from the standard and uh, expert mode so assume the scenario that uh, there is some this attacker uh, who wanted to hit the some sort of attacks towards the firewall so as you can see on my screen in some sort of ftp attacks I execute ftp bounds for example and here i can see the connection is getting refused i mean it's at least hitting to this the gateway so let's do this thing and observe the output maybe we'll monitor and tcp term so let's go ahead and let me clear up the screen and let's do the tcp dump okay the syntax is very simple you have to run the utility called tcp dump and then you have to give this interface for example i want i stand for the interface uh, which interface this communication will be happen so it should be happen from the ats 0 before that let me give you the idea what we have here the interfaces so we have three interfaces and whatever the main communication will be happen it should be from this guy 
so consider this is external internal and sync kind of thing let me clear up the screen so syntax is very simple just type tcp dump and then what interface it's ets0 and then what you want to see so for example i want to see there's some source from that source say 192 168 1.0 200 this is attacker source from there i'm getting traffic towards my firewall so source is this and destination will be 192 168 1.101 and protocol and everything if you want to give you can just give like this and the port number but for now uh, we'll make it keep it simple so let me run this <laughs> so as you can see you have no communication at all here let's have this session first and see the thing so let's go ahead and generate some attacks uh, let's do from the network application intelligence category and let's run say number 14 FTP uh, 1 the connection is getting refused but we should see some traffic here so yeah the traffic is there as you can see from 200 which is our attacker IP address is doing the communication over this port right and there is uh, some sort of say sync packets we can observe right now similar thing if I do with FW monitor the syntax is very simple FW monitor E for the expression this is the basic codes you have to give accept the connection uh, what source you want here you have to give source equals like that 192 168 1.200 and what destination you want which is 192 168 1.101 and the semicolon the syntax the, the command got run let's rerun the same thing let's see what happens uh, application intelligence and number 14 execute the connection is going to be diffused but we should see some traffic here right so this is the difference guys what we get from the FW monitor and this so if you just observe this is a TCP dump output and this is a W monitor output here I can see this small thing small i big i right and here I don't see those things right here I important difference what I wanted to point out here is this thing this interception point you are not able to see in the TCP dump output that's why we run ABW monitor instead of TCP dump there there is a meaning for this for example this I stand for whenever a packet hit to the firewall you will see I when packet cross your policies you will see big I like that these are the meanings right so that is the basic difference guys what we, I wanted to tell you with this video so I hope you like this video and thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day